And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a little game called Hasp, or Hasp, I'm not sure. It's a, it's a clever trick-taking game played in teams where you're going to predict the outcome of each round, says the back of the box. However, if you fail, it's your opponents that score the points. Well, there's a lot of games out there, actually, where you predict what tricks or what tricks you will or will not take in the course of a game. But this one has some little cute artwork of kids running around and getting a muck with the dirt and nature. Let's take a look at it. The game comes with a deck of cards that is made up of four suits. Each of these suits is numbered from one to six, and then there is four more cards that are seven, eight, nine, ten. These cards are considered to always be the trump suit. If you've never played a trick-taking game before, uh, this game plays fairly similar. You'll shuffle the cards. Each person is going to get three cards, and whoever is the first person is going to pick one of the colors to be a trump color. They can also declare no trump if they want to. You'll then stick a point in the middle of the table to show how much this trick is worth. Each person can add more points to the trick if they want to. If they have the seven and the eight cards in their hand, they can show them to everyone, adding one point to the pot. If you have just a nine, you can show that, add a point to the pot. You can say, we're going to lose every trick this round. And if you do that, you put two points in the pot. And if you say you're going to win every trick this round, you'll add two points to the pot. Of course, you have to do that then. Or you can just pass and not add any points to the pot. Then one person goes first. They can play any card from their hand that they want to. Each other person must play a card of the same suit. If you don't have a card of the same suit, but you have the card color that's Trump, let's say purple was Trump, then you must play it. Or again, remember black, these uh, 7, 8, 9, 10 cards are always Trump. If no Trump has been played, then whoever plays the highest card in the color led, in this case the 4, will win all the cards. These cards are worth a certain score. You can see the dots in them, so this would give five. If Trump was played, then that person will take all the cards, whoever plays the highest of the Trump color. And you'll keep going, and then that person leads the next trick where they will play a card, and everyone will do that. At the end of the game, each team will take, at the end of the round, each team will take all the cards that they have won, add these points, and whoever has the higher score will get this many points, which is marked on a little score pad. And then you will just play a, a, you'll start another round. And you'll keep going until one team has gotten 12 points, at which point they win the game. The art in the cards is a lot of fun. And I like that the, you know, they even made the characters different. You know, you can see how these are both sixes. It's the exact same art, really. But it's still kind of fun. Like, there's one kid with worms and the other kid with ants. I don't think I like either one of them to show up in a house with those things. Here's the little girl. This one's holding a fish. And this one's holding dirt. But the artwork is really cute. And I do like how they change things. And then the adults here are the Trump, you know, blowing up the thing. The cards are okay quality. But realize this is pretty much all you're getting in a game. This and a few score markers and a scoring pad, which is frankly no different than a sheet of paper, honestly. So it's okay. The components are okay. You're getting a very small game here. Realize that. So Hasp here really kind of breaks one of the cardinal rules of games, and that's that it's very forgettable. It's okay. It's a trick-taking game with four suits, and I think it's really weird, by the way. There, there's some things I don't like about it. Like, I don't like that you, everyone draws three cards. And then you, one person picks Trump based on the three cards they drew. If you get three different colors, who cares? And then, then you get the rest of your cards in your hand. Nah. And then we're going to take all the tricks and not tricks. There's a lot of you know, prediction stuff, but there's many games that do predictions uh, in games. And uh, for example, the Seven Seals, really good game in that regard. There's a lot of games that have this prediction style thing. This one is kind of meh, it's okay, it's there. So what is this game really banking on? It's banking on the fact that there's some cute artwork and then that there's four always trump cards in the deck, the 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't know that that's enough to carry it through. I didn't dislike playing it. I really like trick-taking games, so I'm always glad to play one. But as you threw the cards out, I was like, eh, this feels a little random. There's not a lot of real strong decision-making to be made here. So, eh, I really can't recommend it. 
I'm not saying it's bad either. If you, you know, if you get it, you can play and have a good time. But I don't know that I would rather just have a 52 deck of cards and play spades or hearts. And if that's the case, those are everywhere. Those are easy to find. Why should I go out of my way to buy a specialized little game? Eh, it's too bad because the artwork really is that nice. Dice Tower Judgment, it's an okay trick-taking game.